Good morning, it's Teza. Good morning. We're back. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna read. Okay. And then you can stop me whenever. Yeah. All right. Um, I found people nowadays are split into two extremes. The media created the extreme dualities with uh, between spirituality and physical images. People that are spiritual often search for a spiritual high. Mm -hmm. Spirituality becomes a product that big companies use it as one of the most powerful marketing schemes. So, which in, in a way they sell spirituality. Uh huh. Spirituality become a drug that feeds people that are feeling lost, emptiness, the lack of something really shaken them. And the person's identity, they become lost with their identity yes. and self-esteem. So that emptiness is yearning for spirituality and for see something that. to fulfill them. Yeah, to yeah. fill that hole. And spirituality becomes a super drug. Gives True. you a great sense of bliss yeah. and that spiritual high. But since it is a product, once the drug fades, um, the person be on a spiritual low, they will be again searching and yearning mm -hmm. for that like high. Like a cycle. Yeah. It's like a... Well, it's like a, a drug, yeah, right? Addiction. Like, exactly. Yeah. Um, the person that experienced spirituality didn't aware of that spiritual spirituality is just like any other sensation such as happiness, sadness, mm -hmm. anger, excitement. Yeah. Um, these sensations, just like any everything else, they're not gonna last forever. Mm -hmm. Spirituality is a glimpse, a Some, glimpse of the sacred. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like any of these um, sensation. Um, Spirituality doesn't last, as not meant to be last, because we're in physical dimension. Exactly, yeah. we and have to walk. we learn from it. We enjoy from yeah. it, just like how we learn from relationships. Our anger. Yeah. Yes, so they will fade and become part of you. Yes, and yeah. integrate. Exactly. However, if you hold on to the sensation, you create an illusion. Of, for yourself and become um, disconnected with your surroundings. Yeah, the physical reality or what's happening in your life, right? Mm. I, I've encountered a lot of that because I too, I too, <laughs> was uh, on that spiritual um, search. So I was always searching, uh, going to different teachers all the time, uh, mentors, to find um, Completion is kind of like, a, uh, yeah, what you're saying is like a drug. It's a high. And yearning to know who you yearning, are. Yearning, yeah, which is, I am already who I am, and I don't really need any more because uh, I am who I am. And all these things that are in my life, like friends, children, um, work, strangers that comes to your life, are part of my being, spirituality physical exercise dancing that's when i had the that awakening about my spirituality because i was like uh talking about love in a spiritual form which is like mother teresa's uh, quotation the of higher, love the high level the higher of. level of love but truly love is what we have now sharing love with our children so i make it a point because my children are older now and so i make it a point we see each other once a week for dinner and they ask me what's the occasion <laughs> but they don't really know what's my intention is the day -to -day yeah the day-to-day -day, uh regular you know mm. schedule you're supposed to meet your girlfriend like me and susan are here together we're sharing mm. uh, our thoughts that's perfectly it it's uh there's no duality and and it's just living the spirituality yeah. Just and being yourself yeah. is and that's spiritual. where the media mm -hmm. you you, you um, talk about the media like yoga is a big thing now mm -hmm. yeah everything is yoga but they focus only on the physical part of yoga yeah yoga is actually a philosophy 
mm-hmm. that helps you to understand your physical needs and mind body exactly and, uh, spirit so connection. in order to really understand and perform good yoga practice mm-hmm. you also have to live the yoga philosophy as well that's true amazing mm-hmm. so today we've come into uh, this discussion about our friends who are really spiritual and doesn't really uh, integrate their spirituality with their being physical but the, you know the, the thing is they don't realize they don't know because you're, you're everyone, on that road the nowadays everyone think oh if you're spiritual you must be you know like a better person or you are you know more mm-hmm. than anyone that doesn't claim themselves to be spiritual yeah. but the fact is spirituality comes and goes. and goes and you have to just live yeah. and allow that spirituality yeah. to come again embrace exactly yeah. instead of keep searching and yearning because when you start to look for it you're not living yeah you're not actually living your life and you're not being in the moment you're not in the present <laughs> we so are here be happy <laughs> yeah Okay, so we'll see you again next time. Have a good day. You too. Bye.